Hey guys, it's Richie. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go out on the Chow Phraya River here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I'm gonna try and find uh, a tour boat that's like one of the long tail river boats and go on there and go tour around the Klongs. But before we do that, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing. I missed the 100 subscriber thanks thing, but we blew right past it. We're almost to 200 now, so thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Now let's go find a boat. This tugboat has probably got some huge barge attached to it. This river's so busy. It's crazy. Like I used to think the Columbia River by where I live is busy, but this is 10 times busier and there's constant traffic. It's not just ships like on the Columbia. Okay, so we had a change of plans. We decided to just go on the, the tourist boat up to Khao San Road. This is Manu. Hi. Uh, he's from Germany, so he might do some weird shit sometimes. <laughs> There's Icon Siam Mall. This place is huge. You can see the King Power Mahanakan in the distance over there. some construction going on with guys just swimming in the rock water <laughs> placing the post safety tent there's a barge that we saw in the time lapse we just overtook it in the tourist boat I think this is the Grand Palace right here. Let's look at this long tail boat. Zoom in on his engine. Look how big that intercooler is. All right, we got traffic. There's a lot of boats over here. We got the pier. Tachang Pier. I don't know what's over there. Ramming speed. We get that long tail. <laughs> it looks like it. Get out of the way. Well, that was a cool change of plans. We took the Blue Line tourist boat over to Khao San Road. So the pier that we're getting off at is right over there. This is a pretty cool way to get around. And it was a lot more direct from where we were to get to Khao San than taking the MRT. Like normally you have to take the train and then go get a taxi to get to the Khao San area. But we just decided to try this out. Maybe we can get a long tail boat over there. This is awesome being on the river. It's a nice breeze. It's only 30 baht. So it's cheaper than the train too. And you get to see a lot more stuff. This is pretty awesome. Now we're crashing into the pier. Oh, look at this place. It's a cool old building. Look at all these lights are on pulleys but it's all steel here's the boat we were just on it's turning around to go back well, that was an awesome change of plans I'd never been on one of these tourist river boats I mean, 30 bought you can't beat it it's pretty great I mean, it's not like ripping down on a long tail boat but the last time I went on one of those they drove kind of slow yeah, it's such a cool way to get around and there was so much stuff to see on the river. The only problem I had was uh, they would do all those announcements and we're sitting right next to the loudspeaker, so it was pretty loud. But it was cool. I definitely recommend 
jumping on one of those if you're looking to kill some time and want to see what's going on on the river. I'm going to go into this place with Manu and get a beer real quick and maybe go find something else. All right, we got our beers. Cheers, Manu. What did you think of the boat ride? It was actually quite good. I was yeah. very positive surprised. Yeah, it was great. Especially 30 baht. It was a good price and it was actually pretty quick. Yeah, there was lots of nice stuff to see. Quick. You see. Get a lot, get around, see a lot of the city. Brought us some peanuts. Some complimentary salty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's, awesome. it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. And now we're in this place. Like, check out the view that we have. Grab a couple beers, watch a barge go by. For the third time, I think, we saw this barge. Is it the same one? I don't know. <laughs> no, there's there's so many barges. Yeah, I think it's just full of rice. <laughs> Let's zoom in on the rice barge. I don't know, who knows what's on there. What a nice place. This is perfect for a sunset beer, too. Yeah. Right in the middle of Bangkok. Fantastic. Okay, we just finished our sunset beer over here at Coco Chow Praia. Put some pants on. I gotta put some pants on apparently. Got the nice sunset over here. We're gonna go see what's on Khao San Road for a bit and see what we get up to. <laughs> so there's a really nice park over here. Wow, there's like a, a jungle that you walk through in the sidewalk over here. So the, the park is back over there. We just ran across the street. We didn't run. Don't run across the street. It's fucking dangerous. Be predictable. And you won't get hit. Or in this market over around Khao San, they have all sorts of stuff to buy. Some of it seems kind of overpriced compared to other places, but this is a pretty big tourist area. Apparently, this part's got MotoGP and F1 on right now. I already watched the race this morning, though. Not for MotoGP, I watched F1. I don't know anything about MotoGP other than the bikes are fucking crazy now. This guy's got a bar made out of a Volkswagen van. That's rad. This place looks nice though. It's got all these trees and foliage. We're just. I gotta go take a piss. Alright. Can we just grab a beer somewhere? Yeah. Occasionally, it's hard to find a toilet. And Manny's about to piss himself. So you want some want some bugs? I tried them once for four and they're they're alright. I should try them again just to make sure that they're not good. Wow, this place is cool. But like you got the canopy from the trees. I've never been over to this area of Kalsan. I've only been on like just on the road. Gave me the locations. This should be pretty good. It looks very tasty. Egg banana 50. Thank you. 
All right, we got the roadie. Let's see how it is. How is it, Manu? Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Mark. Trying this piece right here. Uh -huh. Still very hot. It's good. We got the banana and the egg in there, and then the, the condensed milk on top. It's nice and sweet. It's one of the favorite roadies I like to get. For some reason, we came out to Pat Pong. <laughs> My first time here. I've been to Bangkok a bunch of times. I don't know what this is. I've never done this I don't before. Know. I mean, you see the, the sign right here? But I got some Pad Kur Pao Mu or pork stir fried holy basil with uh, egg. So at the other end of Pat Pong, there's a Burger King that is also a temple. So you can pray while you eat your burger. What a place. All right, I got chicken and a stick at a cart. And they tried to tell me I didn't pay, but I paid before they cooked the chicken. But I got it. And there was not much hassle after that. But this shit is delicious. It's very delicious. If you ever have the chance to try a chicken on a stick, you should. Look at it. Man, who loves it? No, it's really good. You shot the chicken on a stick. I mean, like a fish on a stick. You don't like fish sticks? Chicken on a stick. It's it just, it's just grilled chicken. On a stick. And bamboo. It's delicious. It's very good. I mean, it's a chicken on a stick for sixty bucks. Yeah, so less, less than two dollars. Right oh man, it's fan fantastic. I will get this again, for sure. <laughs> Best chicken on a stick. That's a very good chicken on a stick. It's delicious. That's a wrap on the video. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>